Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project we're going to take this TV set and we're going to mount it here on the wall. All right so obviously we have our TV set. We know what the size of the TV is. We picked up the uh, universal mounting bracket that's made specifically for this TV and now we're going to mount it up on the wall. First thing we're going to do is determine where we have studs in the wall right here because this mounting bracket must be screwed into the studs. It cannot be screwed into the wall using any kind of wall anchors or anything. It's got to be strictly into the uh, into the studs and not just the hollow drywall itself. All right, so let me bring you in there. I'm going to show you what kind of tools we're going to need and then we're going to mount the bracket on the on the on the wall first and then we'll hang the TV on. So what we did first is we determined the height that we wanted the TV. And in this particular case, we're going to make it 48 inches to the bottom of the TV, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to mount the bracket first onto the TV so we can determine our height to mount the bracket. All right, it's really not that hard. It's fairly easy. But let me bring you in there and we're going to get started. Let me show you the tools we're going to use first. Okay, so these are the tools we're going to be using. Uh, we have a, an assortment of drill bits. We have our uh, different adapters for the driver itself. We have our stud finder, um, measuring tape, pencil of course, <clears throat> our driver, our drill, some screwdrivers, some sockets, and a handset in case we need to tighten it in with the rest of the way by hand. Our mounting bracket itself, <clears throat> some tape that we're going to use to mark where the studs are on the wall, uh, and of course a level so we make sure we have it mounted level on the wall. All right, so first thing we're going to do is let's clear this stuff out. Let's lay the TV on its back and we'll get started. Okay, so now we have our, our bracket mounted onto the TV set itself. We know that this is the bottom of the TV down here. Uh, we also know that we, our bracket, we followed the manufacturer's uh, recommendations and we attached it onto the back of the TV where it's supposed to be. Now, I just want to point this out to you. Where you want to mount the bracket, if you want the TV to be 40 inches above the floor, you need to account for it when you mount your bracket on there. Now, as you can see, this bracket here is going to be probably about 5 inches um, further up the wall than we wanted it. So we have it at, we want the TV at 48 inches above the floor. So we're going to have that 48 plus we're going to add 5 and that'll give us where we're going to mount the TV bracket on the wall itself. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the wall right over here. We're going to take some painter's tape such as this and we're going to mark on the wall exactly where we're going to put the screws to hold the bracket to the wall. All right, so uh, let's put this tape on the wall. We'll find where the studs are and we'll continue. Okay, so now we're going to take our stud finder and we're going to find out where our studs are located in the wall. The way a stud finder works, you put it on the hollow part of the wall, you turn it on, and you move it slowly until the lights light up. Okay, so we know right here is where the stud starts. And right here is where the stud ends. So it starts and stops right there, the stud. Okay. Try it again. Now I will tell you this, a stud finder is not 100% accurate. It's fairly close, but it's not 100% accurate. Okay. Next we'll come over to this side over here. And we'll do the exact same thing over here. Find out where our stud is. Nice and slow. Okay, so here it starts. And here it ends. Okay, so this is one stud. This is the second stud. So now we have to mount it into here and into here. Next, we're going to determine from the floor up to here. Remember we said the TV we wanted 48 inches from the from the bottom floor up, but we have to allow five inches additional for the bracket itself, how it's recessed behind the TV. So we're going to need the 48 plus the 5, 
or when the 53 inches. So let's measure up from the floor, 53 inches, and then we'll have a line of where the TV bracket is going to be mounted. All right, so let's grab our, our ruler. Let's grab our measuring tape, I should say, and we'll measure up 53 inches from the floor. And we're going to go in the center of the the center of the um, the stud itself, 53 inches, which is right here. And we're going to go 53 inches on the other one, which is right here. All right, so that gives us our location of where the bottom of the bracket is going to be located and where we need to put the screws into the studs itself. All right, so let's get our drill and uh, let's pre-drill the holes and we'll get that bracket mounted up. So now we have everything marked off at 53, the height that we wanted it. But before we do anything, we are going to come in here with a level to make sure that everything is exactly level. Because sometimes, even though you measure from the floor up, it may be off just a little bit. Now in this case here, it is off just a little bit. So we're going to mark it so we can see. Okay, so now we have it exactly level here and here. And of course, we use our level on this later on once we put the bracket on to make our final adjustments. Now, before we drill the holes in here and assume that we're going to hit the stud, we are going to take a small little drill bit. It's a small little uh, 1 16th inch drill bit. And we're going to make sure that our stud actually ends here and ends here where it says. Uh, because the bracket we're going to put on, we're going to mount this bracket. Of course, it's going to be mounted here and here. And as you can see, it's going to be very close to the end of the stud here. So we're going to make sure where our stud actually ends so we can mount this bracket and make sure that it screws in exactly right. Okay? So uh, let's, uh, let's drill that and we'll make sure the stud is where it's supposed to be. Okay, next we're going to come in here, we're going to mount our bracket on there, but let's take these pieces of tape off the wall. Okay, we're going to hold our bracket up to the wall. We're going to catch these screws in here, and then we'll snug them in. And once we have it snugged in and tightened up, then we'll come back and we'll put these two screws in the top. And now before we tighten it up so that it's really tight, we're going to screw the other two screws in the top here. And then we'll get that, grab the level, put the level on it, and make sure that it's perfectly level. Okay, looks good. All right, let's drill these other two screws here, and let's mount that bracket up permanently. So now we have it fairly tight. One more time, we're going to put a level on it. Okay, we're perfectly level. So now we're going to snug these screws in until they're tight.
Okay, so bracket's nice and tight. Let's clean up this area here and we'll get the TV hung up and that'll be it. Okay, so now after our bracket is nice and tight, we cleaned everything up in here. Let's hang our TV on here. The two hooks hook on the top and then we pull those little cables on the bottom to lock it in on the bottom right here. All right, so let's, uh, let's put that up here. As I said, it's got these little hooks on here. We're going to hook it on here first and then we'll hang it up. Okay, so that's it. Our TV is now hung on the wall. Now, as I said, in, in, there will be a future video for how we're going to bring the electrical power from down here up into this area here, but we'll do another video on that one in the future. All right, that's it. That's all there is for this TV. Now, I just want to point one more thing out to you, too. Sometimes when you have these studs, they're supposed to be 16 inches on center. Sometimes they're not 16 inches, sometimes they're 17 inches, which is a little bit of a um, too far apart. If you need to, you can drill those holes at an angle so that you can get the screws into the stud to hold the bracket and then the TV to a stud versus just into the drywall. But that's it. This job is done and we're on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.